I'm just making my wife laugh. Uh, I had to take it to Rite Aid real quick. Rite Aid, yay. <laughs> She's got to go get her uh, prescription. But um, So we were at my son's concert yesterday, and it was uh, an art show. It's amazing, you know, how much talent there was. There was some, like, crazy artwork, though. There was, like, some really abstract, like, witchcraft and... You know, there's some really out out there like art, and there was this guy, I guess, who was there. He was a father, just like me. But you know, this dude was a big guy, man. He was like probably 400 pounds, and he had tattoos like on his face, of like he had like 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 a tattoo of fire. He had like a devil with pitchforks. He had like Elvira, all this like create like friggin' Freddy Kruegers, you know, like hands, the knives. I mean, like, his whole body was filled with tattoos. So what happened was, <laughs> you know, you just see this guy walking. Your first immediate assumption is why you can't assume is he's crazy, right? He's a freaking serial killer or something, like, really bad, right? So they had that song uh, come on. It was it Etta James, At Last. And he looks at me, and I look at him, and he just goes, At Last. My love has come and gone, you know? And I'm like, my lonely days are over, you know? With you, I sing a song. At last, at last, at last. My love has come and gone. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, you're not expecting something. That dude surprised me, man. <laughs> and I'm not... One who easily gets surprised. <laughs>